Hey, what's up guys, KSK here. Welcome back to another Linux video. This is a Pop! OS, the beautiful and the fastest Linux distribution ever. In this video, I will talk everything about Pop! OS, what's new and its features. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down there and consider clicking the bell button to get notified whenever I post a new video. Let's get started. Now, what is Pop! OS and who has developed it? System76 is a hardware vendor who ships laptops, desktops, and servers with Linux Ubuntu, hence Pop! OS. It is based on Linux Ubuntu with many GNOME tweaks. I think the most important thing about Pop! OS isn't the OS itself. After all, the OS is more than a rebranded Ubuntu GNOME. Now, what's important here is that the OS is developed by a PC manufacturer. You may be thinking, so what? But think about it. How many PC makers offer up their own OS? The answer is two. Apple and Microsoft. The fact that System76 has taken this approach to a desktop OS is interesting. For now, the OS doesn't feel much different from Ubuntu, but because GNOME is open source, so System76 now has the freedom to tweak the OS to better serve its customers. So out of the box, Pop! OS feels same as Ubuntu, but System76 added more optimizations and tweaks that makes a difference from Ubuntu OS. Now let's talk about the features of Pop! OS. First, let me show you the version as I'm running on my PC. I'm gonna open the settings page and here you can see the Pop! OS version along with system specifications. Now unlike Ubuntu, Pop! OS supports NVIDIA proprietary drivers, which means it has a generic NVIDIA drivers pre-installed on the system that improves the performance of desktop environment. So if your PC or laptop has a discrete NVIDIA graphic chipset, then Pop! OS works like a charm. It's better smooth, the animations and transitions you get to see throughout the system is marvelous. So by now you understand Pop! OS is built on the top of Ubuntu. The default GNOME environment looks much refresher. System76 has added a software modifications to distinguish between Ubuntu and Pop! OS. If you're a fan of flat design desktop interfaces, reminiscent of material design on Android, you will like the theme that comes as a default in Pop! OS. The desktop and title bars all use a bright turquoise theme that makes the interface feel more natural. For example, for example, the font you get to see in Pop! OS is much cleaner to read. Like Ubuntu, Pop! OS offers some system applications which are pre-installed. You get a default file manager, Firefox, Office Toolkit, and many other applications. Now, one thing I have noticed after installing Pop! OS is that it won't come with a dock menu or the minimize and the maximize buttons for the window applications are disabled. I don't know why they did this, but you can always enable it using the GNOME Tweak tool. Just install the GNOME Tweaker from Terminal by typing this command. Now once it's installed, you can find the GNOME Tweaker inside the App Launcher menu. Simply search for Tweaks. Now using this Tweak Toolkit, you can customize many things of the GNOME desktop environment. Now under the Appearance tab, you can choose the themes. This way you can change the look of the whole system UI as per your liking. Now to enable the Dock menu, head over to Extensions tab, then look for the Dash to Dock option. So keep in mind, you have to download this extension from Firefox and install it. I leave the link for that extension in the description, download and install it. Now once you have done installing it, you can enable or disable the dock menu using the Tweaks application. Now Pop! OS also comes preloaded with a screen recorder. The built-in screen recorder lets you record the screen, which is a good to see. Now one thing I like about Pop! OS is that the desktop pages. You can easily jump between the desktop pages by using a keyboard shortcut, window plus up or down arrow keys, to switch between the pages of desktop. Just take a look at the speed and smoothness of the UI. It's much refined and definitely it's much faster and responsive than Ubuntu. To preview the desktop pages, pressing the window key on the keyboard reveals all desktop pages and shows the preview of applications of the selected desktop page. This way, multitasking would be much faster and smoother. Compared to Ubuntu OS, you may have faced some system freezing issues when dealing with desktop pages, but not in Pop! OS. Thanks to 
better graphic drivers, the whole system UI feels much faster and cleaner. Now, when it comes to system animations and transitions, oh boy, it is definitely much improved. Just take a look at the smoother transitions of the app launcher. It is super snappy and much quicker. The opening and closing transition of the application is also very smooth. These transitions are much better compared to Ubuntu Linux. Like Ubuntu Software Center, Pop OS comes preloaded with App Store named as Pop Shop, where you get to download a lot of applications. Now, there are tons of apps you can download from different categories. For software developers, Pop OS Shop is extremely useful. You can download various text editors, IDs for software development. This way, you don't need to rely on any third party app resources. For example, if you're looking for a C IDE, simply search for code blocks and download it. Similarly, for Java developers, search for NetBeans and many tools available that fulfill the basic necessities for the naive Linux users. Now when it comes to my favorites, Pop OS comes with a default package parser application known as Eddy. This app lets you install the Debian package without the need of using a terminal. It features a graphical user interface that provides a drag and drop mechanism. This way installing the packages in Pop OS is much easier than ever before. This is a boon for noobs who don't know how to install the Debian package. Now let me show you that in action, how it works. I have saved the autumn text editor which has a .deb extension which indicates a Debian package. Now I can simply drag and drop inside Eddy and it will parse the package and install it on your system. This is a very convenient way to install any Debian package inside Pop OS without the using of terminal. So the bottom line of this video, if you're a software developer who wants high performance desktop environment and minimal user interface, then Pop OS is the one you must give it a shot. Being a programmer, I'm in love with Pop OS. I can feel that I'm getting addicted to Pop OS every single day. For computer science students, this is the best Linux distribution ever for learning the basic concepts of shell scripting, C programming, and more. Overall, I would say Pop OS is the plus plus version of Ubuntu, which delivers lag-free performance. There may be no random freezes you would encounter in Pop OS. So let me know what do you think about Pop OS? Should you try it? Also comment your opinions and suggestions, and I definitely consider it improving the channel. That's pretty much it. This has been KS Carol. I'll catch you in my next video.